after a first sweet scare against FCS Southeast. Demon Deacons are 1-0. This week we are traveling to Boston to take on Boston College for our opening week of ACC play. As you see here, these are our offense and defensive yardage per game. As well as Boston College's. And these are the top players for Boston College. White, the center, who has one pancake and two sacks allowed. DeVito, who's going to be a hard run stopper, 88 overall. Eight total tackles, two for a loss and one forced fumble. And Duggan with seven tackles, two for a loss and one sack. So DeVito and Duggan are going to be really tough to defend against this running game of Wake Forest. And top players for your weight for us, Demon Deacons, Michael Campanaro, seven receptions, 127 yards, one touchdown, 12 carries. Jackson, three tackles, and Canal, three punts of 39.7 yards average. And let's take a look at both of these teams warming up before we take a look of the first week in ACC play. All right, the tail of the tape, getting defensive, 250-yard average, pass average allowed for the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, 96 yards average rushing, three sacks, and zero interceptions. So we're here at Alumni Stadium in Boston, Massachusetts, at Boston College. As you see here, it's first and 10, Boston getting the ball first. Corvette drops back. Rolls and gets taken down. Redding with a six yard sack on the first play of the game. And Redding is able to take him down. Second and 16 trips left. Williams with the handoff. Finally taken down after a two yard rush. Williams with tough running. Third and 13. Redding drops back. Throws right and hits Evans over the middle. Evans breaks a tackle. One man to beat. Is not able to do it. 54 yard reception. Pistol formation, first and 10. Ready with the handoff to Williams. Williams with a stiff arm and taken down after a five yard gain. Second and five. Shotgun formation. Parsons in motion. Ready with the option, keeps it and gets into the end zone. Eight yard gain. So here's the kickoff, and as you remember, guys, last week. Reynolds almost broke two for a touchdown, but gained around 76 yards each time. So first and 10, pistol formation, hand off to Harris, and Harris is taken down for a five-yard loss. Trips right, Price with the bubble screen right, and hits Campanaro for two yards. Third and 13, Price drops back to throw, and is not able to get it off sack for a nine-yard loss after the punt. Trips right, ready with the handoff to Williams. Williams left, taken out of bounds after a three-yard gain. Spread formation, third and seven. Ready drops back the throw, gets the screen set up to Williams' right side. Finally taken down after a five-yard gain. And after the punt, second and eight for Wake Force. Price drops back the throw, and has Rook in his hands and he drops it. To third and eight. Price drops back to throws, throws the screen set up left side. Harris goes down for a loss. They were not fooled on that. So fourth and 11, punt unit comes out. Canal with the punt. Punts it up. Evans with the catch. Misses a tackle. Makes a man miss. 20-yard gain by Evans. So first and 10, Reddick. Shotgun formation. Parsons in motion. Comes back. Eddie drops back. Fakes the throw right. Throws up top and is caught. Caught for a touchdown. Oh my goodness. That was an amazing catch. So second and ten. Wait for us with the ball. Harris with the handoff. And Harris only gets a yard as they are stopping Harris in his tracks. Third and nine. Shotgun formation. Tanner Price drops back and throw. Throws left and hits James off the middle of the scene for a 27-yard reception. Second and 11, pistol, 
Press drops back, throws left, hits Campanaro, our leading receiver right now. 15 yard gain. So, hurry up offense, first and 10. Price with the fake. Read option, goes up and finally taken down after 9 yard gain. Second and one, hand off to Harris. Harris up the middle and gets enough for the first down, just powers his way through. Second and 10, man in motion, load option. Hits Martin with the pitch, and Martin only gets a yard. So that's it after the first quarter. Not a great start for this Wake Forest team. Boston College up 14 to nothing. There you see there that remarkable reception. So start of the second quarter. Third and nine. Press drops right to throw. Throws left. Hits Rook. Rook's got the reception. A seven-yard gain. Fourth and one. Coach Williams decides to gamble a little bit. Price drops back the throw, picked up the blitz by uh, Harris, and touchdown Brandon Terry for the slant over the middle. Great reception and a great pickup by Harris. Let's take another look at this reception. As you see here, Harris got tight cover and the guy just gets in front of him. So Price throws it back shoulder and gets it in. So it's first and ten. Two tight end set. Miller in motion. Hand off to Williams. Williams got some opening and taken down after a two yard rush. Great play by the corner. Looks like Johnson with the takedown. So second and eight. Williams with another carry and 13 yard gain. First down, Boston College. First and 10. Red drops back throw. Throws left. Wide open. Ep Evans. Five yard reception. Second and five. Pistol formation. Ready with the handoff to Williams. Williams is taken down for a loss. Great play by Johnson. Third and, third and six. Drops back and hits his receiver, Amidon, for a first down. First and ten. Ready with the option. Hits and pitches to Williams. Williams breaks the tackle. Nine-yard game. Williams with some strong running today so far. Second and one. Handoff to Williams. Taken down for no gain. Reddick is in the play. Third and one. Option handoff to Williams. Williams breaking two tackles. Finally getting taken down after a really tough run. First and ten. Rain drops back to throw five wide. Throws over in the middle. Hits his man, Crimmins, for a reception of eight yards. Second and two. Rain drops back. Throws over in the middle. Hits his man, Evans, again. For another reception and another first down. First and ten shotgun trips right. Redding tries to set up the screen left. And he's going nowhere. Tackle for a loss. Second and fourteen. Triple option. Williams with the handoff. Williams up the gut for six yards. Third and eight. Another another screen set up left side. Harris finally gets around and tackles them for a loss of one so with fourth and nine coming up Boston College elects to take the field goal kicks us up and good 17-7 Boston College with a little more than two minutes left on the clock let's see what this Demon Deacon offense can do Harris with the reception two broken tackles finally push down loss of one so third and twelve Price drops about the throw Throws right, hits his man Campanaro for a first down reception. Gain of 23. Trips left, Price drops back. Oh my goodness, what a great catch. Asparilla's heading back the other way. Looks like no one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Wake Forest. That is just a great play by the cornerback. Looks like Price did not see him at all. He had to jump on the ball, and he had no one in front of him. Man at 30 left, Reynolds with the kickoff, and it looks like he's got an opening. And finally pushed out of bounds right at the 50-yard line. So let's see if this good return can get some points on the board. Six-yard reception for Raglan. Second and four, a little over a minute left. The counter, counter right. Harris up the, up the right side and gets a first down. Gain a nine. 
A little less than a minute left on the clock. Harris with the handoff. Stretch right. Harris is taken down after a gain of six. A little less than 30 seconds left on the clock. To see what this offense can do. Third and four. Pistol formation. Price drops back. Throws right. Hits Terry again in 14-yard reception. And you guys remember Terry is our one touchdown catch on the day. First and ten. Trips right. Price drops back to throw. Throws right side. Hits James in the end zone. Four touchdown. Demon Deacons. So that's 24-14 right before the half. As you see here, these passing plays are doing well for this Boston College offense. The running game is not doing terribly, but the passing game is what's helping them. So at 12 seconds left, Williams with the handoff. Williams cutting back. Finally taken down after a six-yard gain. Three seconds left on the clock. Looks like there's going to be a Hail Mary before halftime. Redden drops back. Gets hit. Oh, Parsons made some reception, but there's nowhere to go. Taken down. And that's it, guys. Looks like Boston College is going into the halftime with a 10-point lead. 24-14 Boston College. And let's see if this offense can take a, take a little bit of a momentum shift and head into the second half and try to turn this game around as you see here this running game's not doing bad but the passing game especially that pass right there that's going to probably be one of the biggest highlights of the game maybe even the week maybe even the year guys that was an amazing catch but these teams are toughing it out and let's see what they can do so we'll have to rely more on the running game of Harris in the passing game of Tanner. But as you see here, only 15 rushing yards in that first half. So on first and 10, Harris with the handoff. Harris right side, got some blocks. Gets it opening. Great blocking for an 18-yard gain. Second and nine shotgun. Price drops back. Throws middle and great play by Bryce. 39. Rook on the flat. Gets the first down just enough for the first down. Trips right. Shotgun. Price with the read option. Keeps it. Goes left. Gets a block. Gets up the side or up the hash line. Hash marks for a 17 yard gain. Triple option. With the pitch to Harris. Harris gains 9 yards. Pistol formation. Read option again. Left. Up, cuts back, gets up the middle for a 12-yard gain. Second and nine. Trips left. Pistol formation. Pulling guard around. Harris has got blocked. Harris up the right-hand side for a six-yard gain. Looks like this offense is trying to take the power approach against this D. Play action. Price rolls left. Throws back. Hits Martin for a two-yard gain and is only... Not going to get it. Fourth and one. Field goal team gets up. Reglin with the kick, and it's up good. Here's an update on it. Sprained ankle for Tanner Price, and we're going to have to keep him in the game, guys. We're going to have to try to make him tough it out and make this offense run. So on second and nine, Williams gets stuffed for a one-yard game. Reading with a handoff to Williams again. Cuts back. Five-yard gain. So shotgun formation, third and fourth. Raiden drops back, sets the screen up left, and looks like Whitlock has it red, but couldn't make a tackle. Taken down by Jackson. Let's take a look at that again. Raiden with the left set up. Misses a tackle, and Jackson just fills the hole. So first and ten, trips left. Hand off to Harris. Harris is going to go up the middle for a two-yard gain. Third and six. Trips right. Tanner Price drops back. Throws right hand side and intercepted by Jones. Double coverage. Not a smart play. And Price just forces it in for interception. First and ten. Shotgun formation. Redding takes it. Fakes the, fakes the throw. Throws it back and the low gets a hand on it. Low was not letting that go free second 10 read option rating right hand side low comes down the misses him 
And a bad angle by Lowe. That is surprising. Lowe's usually a great run stopper. First and goal. Jackson in motion. Read option. Jackson with the handoff. And Forza up the, up the left side for a five-yard gain. Second and goal. Ace formation. Tight end in motion. Williams with the handoff. And Williams stop for a loss. This defense isn't given an inch in the end zone. Third and goal. Read option. Reading. Up the middle, gets taken down for a two-yard loss. Boston College thought they would try to muscle it in, and this defense holds strong. They might have given up some yards, but the main point is that they held strong in the end zone. And as you see here, 24-17 Boston College hasn't changed much from the halftime score, except for the extra field goal by Raglan. So it's fourth and goal set up on the two-yard line. Kick is up. And it's good. 27-17 Boston College. First and ten pistol. Read option right. Price is going to keep it. He said he doesn't care about his ankle hurting. He's going to tough it through. He's going to put the team on his back. 29-yard gain. So it's first and ten. Defense is showing blitz. Play action. Throws right hand side. He's got a man on the wheel route. James with another reception. My goodness, kid. What can you not catch? First and ten. Rook with the reception. The flats. Four yard gain. Second and six. Triple option. Price keeps it. Pitches it out to Harris. Harris breaks the tackle. Get off of me, kid. Touchdown. Demon Deacons. On second and ten. Five wide set, rain drops back to throw, throws right, hits his man Grant on the little out route, and gets a nine yard gain. Third and one, two tight ends set, I formation, hand off to Williams, and Williams gets stuffed in the backfield. Great play by Jackson once again. Let's see here, he just comes in, follows the block behind him, and takes him down. So it's first and ten pistol. Read option. Makes a man miss. Gets a block. First down. Tanner Price. And we have to be careful of his ankle. That's first and ten. As you see here, Price goes down for a four-yard loss. Trips left. Pistol formation. Play action. Price drops back and gets caught on the sack. Six-yard loss. Third and 20. Spread formation. Shotgun. Price drops back to throw. Throws left, hits James. Who else is he going to hit for a 23-yard reception? Pistol formation. Play action. Price drops back. Hits Campanara coming across. Beats his man in front of him. And 30-yard reception. First and goal. Demon Deacons. On first and goal, Harris takes a handoff for a three-yard gain. Second and goal. Price with the option takes it up the middle for a two yard gain third and goal triple option Garside gets a handoff and is into the end zone easy play touchdown Demon Deacons who have finally gotten the lead in this game first lead of the day so it's first and ten Ray trying Noel and Noel with the big deflection second and ten Tight end in motion. Raiden drops back the throw. Throws over the middle. Hits his man, Amadon, for an eight-yard reception. Third and two. Trips right. Shotgun formation. Demon Deacon show blitz and gets there. Three-yard loss by Allen. So it's fourth and six. Might be the last play for Boston College, who hits Grant for the right side. Of the first down reception, 11 yards. First and ten. Raiden drops back again. Throws left, hits Jackson going out of bounds, three yard gain. Under a minute left, second and seven, Rain drops back, throws right, and this the interception, Johnson with the interception, and that might seal it, guys. All they have to do is run out the clock, and Redding can't believe it. He was going to test Johnson, and Johnson comes up with a big play. So second and nine, Harris with the handoff, Harris goes up left side, all he has to do is get the first down. Mason uses a timeout. So first and one or third and one. Harris with the handoff up the middle. And that's gonna be it, guys.
gets the first down victory formation what we love to see here at Demon Deacon football as you can see here clocks running down 15 seconds to go and what an incredible play and it looked like Boston College was going to make a comeback make a last effort stand against this Wake Forest defense but Johnson comes up with the biggest play of the game, maybe the biggest play in the season. And as your player of the game, Tanner Price, 19 of 27, 216 yards, and two touchdowns. As you see here, let's take a couple of highlights of the game. Wait for us, 31, Boston College, 27. What an incredible game, and it came down to the wire. That was unbelievable performance, unbelievable finish. And this defense held strong when they needed. The offense came up and decided that they were going to use the running game to effectively milk time off the clock as well as get points scored. And James, James might be considered the offensive player of the game. Like Tanner Price had a great day, but James made receptions when they needed third and I think he had at least three receptions on third down to give him the first so with a quarterback rating of 147.2 Tanner Price completed 19 of 27 216 yards two touchdowns two interceptions and two sacks Joshua Harris 17 carries for 83 yards 4.8 average one touchdown and a long of 18 Tanner Price had 10 carries for 61 yards. Garside, one carry for one yard for one touchdown. Uh, that was at the goal line. And Garside just wasn't expecting it. Found the opening and took it. As you can see here, we have a couple of others with one carry, one yard. But Harris and Garside, both with a touchdown. And these uh, carries for these wide receivers are the ends arounds. And we're going to have to incorporate DeAndre Martin into the running game as well. Campanaro, five receptions, 72 yards, 14-yard average, zero touchdowns. Um, Matt James, again, having an incredible game. Four receptions, 92 yards, one touchdown. And most of those, I'm saying three receptions, we're on third down and long. Harris, couple of uh, screens for a negative game. Rook, our freshman tight end, who we're looking to use more in the offense. Three catches, 22 yards. Terry, one, two catches for 24, one touchdown. And Raglan and Martin both with one reception each. As you see here, we're going to look at the defensive side. Noel and Allen both with five. Redding, Jackson, and Olsen with four tackles on the day. Tackles for a loss. Allen. And looks like Ramsey, Thompson, Garcia, Banks, Jackson, Whitlock, and Redding all with one. And we had a great day on defense uh, defending this run. Although there were a couple plays that we would like to get back against Williams, but... Looks like Christopher Redding is the only player with a sack on the day. We need to get some more pressure. And, of course, Kevin Johnson with the last-minute interception to seal the game. And defensive players were getting their hands on the ball as well. No forced fumbles or fumble recoveries today. And there you have it, guys. Wait for 16 first downs, 146 rushing yards, 216 passing yards, Two turnovers, which we're going to have to work on that. But time of possession, 15 and a half minutes almost. Whereas Boston College has eight first downs, 73 yards, and 189 yards in the air. As you see here, these are the player of the games on both sides of the ball. Manuel Asparilla with the interception return for a touchdown. But Kevin Johnson with the interception to seal the game with that dagger against Reddy. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh... Two weeks in a row we get a win. I'll see you next time where we take on a home game against ULM. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did.